Well, welcome anyways. So we're gonna do this beautiful peacock. Vamos a hacer este pavo real hoy. And what are we gonna do is, we're gonna use the paper like this. Vamos a usar el papel vertical, okay? I mean, if you have something like this is small, it's okay too. So we're gonna do it like this. It doesn't have to be this big, okay? So the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to draw a line, okay, that is going to be kind of where the tree is going, but this is going to be just like, like uh, for reference, okay? And it's going to be something like this. Just one line, okay? And that's where the tree is going to go. Right? So we're going to leave a very big space here, okay? And a smaller space here. Because the tail is really big and the body is a little smaller, okay? So for the body, we first going to do an oval about this size. And the oval, you see, it's gonna be like, it's not gonna be straight, but it's gonna be like twisted, okay? You see how the, the, the peacock is? So it's gonna be like twisted, like pointing to this corner. Spencer, don't fall asleep. <laughs> you okay? Okay. And then we're going to do another oval like this. Okay. It's smaller than this one. <clears throat> That is where the neck and the head is going to go. It's going to be. So this is going to be, and I'm going to show you, okay? kind of the ovals that we are doing, one for here and another one for here, okay? All right, o sea, vamos a hacer el óvalo este para el cuerpo y este otro para el cuello. So now we're going to do the tail. Okay, and for the tail, we're going to draw kind of a triangle, like a cone, actually, okay? A big, big, big cone here. Un cono bien grande para la cola. All right. So if everybody has this parts, 
Now we're going to work on the tree, on the shape of the tree. Okay. So how we have we did this line right at the beginning. So what we're going to do is first we are going to do like this shape here. Okay. You see this? I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly, but it's going to be like an S. And you want to continue this one here. We're going to erase it later, okay? But that this way, you're going to make sure that you have like a continuation of the, of the tree on the other side of the peacock, okay? Goes like this. And then right away, if you want, you can erase it, okay? So we have this main, um, branch. Gonna go slow, despacito, despacito, para, 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 despacito. Ah, Ava likes to dance too. You're gonna put some music. Despacito. Okay. So if we are done with this, okay, we're gonna start doing this little spirals, okay? that are like the branches of the tree. So we're first gonna do just the one line, like this one here, okay? Then we're gonna make it double, okay? But for now, we are just gonna make it like a single line. Okay, and then we're gonna go over and make it, you know, thick like it is on the drawing. Okay, so we have another one here. And a big one here. And another one, tiny, tiny one over there. Right? Looks like that. Nice. And then we're going to go on this side. and here. So we are not doing this ones yet, okay? The ones on the, on the feathers, yet. Once you are done with that one, you can raise your hand. Uh, let me see, Michelle. Very nice, Michelle. 
Ah, you're missing, let me see, you're missing this other oval or, oh uh, yeah, this one. Spencer, there you go. You can make it a little, maybe a little bit bigger. Michelle, that one. Let me see, Spencer, Spencer, let me see. Very nice. Very good. Good job, Spencer. And Beth? Very good, very good. Uh, Michelle, a ver. Yeah, that's it, that's much better. Ava. Oh, Ava, I'm sorry. Yes, tell me. I forgot what I was gonna say. Okay, you wanna show me your drawing? Very nice, very good, good job. <coughs> Santiago, a ver. Uh, para. Muy bien, Santi. Super. Uh, Diane. Because of the light in your uh, in the back, I can see it very well. Uh, yeah, much better. Very good. Very good. Um, so, Lily. See? Very good. Guys, you're making a lot of progress. I'm telling you. Leah, let me see yours. Very good. I'm impressed. Really impressed with all of you. Okay. So everybody has this already. We're gonna start working on the body. Okay, which is gonna be very easy. Why? Because we already have like this part kind of already drawn, okay? Which is gonna be this line that is gonna get together with this, okay? Like here, right? So all that we have to do, okay, is another line, and I'm gonna show you here, that uh, is going to go like this. Like this one, okay? We're gonna work later a little better on the head but this is basically all we have to do why because we already have the rest and we're going to add some feathers here and there so if you want you can erase this line and this line okay and we can make like a half circle over there However, the head is also kind of a noble. So what we're going to do is we're gonna make this part a little more curved, 
Okay, we made this line here like this, but this part we're gonna make it like this. And here's a peak, okay? And we are gonna add kind of a, like a crown here on the head. And we're gonna erase the inside. So it's gonna look like this. Okay. <clears throat> to make it a little closer so you guys can see better. All right. So if you guys got to this point, that means that you are really good. So now, who likes to do feathers? Raise your hands if you like to do feathers. I'm glad because we're gonna make a lot of feathers. <laughs> okay, but we're gonna go like a little by little, one feather at a time, okay? Because we have here, a lot of different feather sizes and shapes, okay? So what we're going to do first is I'm gonna draw like a kind of a triangle here, okay? Like this. It's not like a, something like that and I'm gonna do a line here, okay? These are just reference lines. I'm making them hard for you to see, but you can make it really soft, okay? And I'm going to start making these feathers here, okay? You gotta wait, let me show you, okay, first, how these feathers go, okay? So, because it's not just like, uh, okay, this is the way we go, okay? We make one line of feathers here, one. The next one is gonna go kind of on top of the other. And this one is gonna go kind of on top of the previous one, okay? So then we're gonna go to the next line of feathers and we're gonna make this one and then again this one and this one and this one and then another line, okay? They are like a overlapping, okay? I'm gonna make another line here so you can see. So I make one here and the other one is gonna start here, on top of the other one, 
Okay? Like that. All the way to the end. You can make them different sizes. Not all the feathers have to be exactly the same because they are not. So this is going to look like that. I mean, if you want to make them bigger, it's okay too. You don't have to make them this small. Uh, Uh, we have in the original drawing, okay, they are a little bigger. But it's okay, or if you want to make more feathers, you can make them smaller. So the next set of feathers are these ones that are here on top of this ones. And those are pretty much like the shape of a drop of water, kind of, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw one around here so you can, you can see away from the, it's like an oval. Okay, but the, the top part is pointy uh, here. Okay. You can make them kind of soft always. Remember, we are still sketching, okay? Uh, in case you wanna erase. And also, we're gonna kind of make one, and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here, kind of one on top of the other, okay? The feathers, they do overlap. And they're gonna be bigger than, than the ones that we did, we just did, okay? We don't have to do it exactly like in the painting. And I forgot something here. The pick is a, a little bigger, okay? So here are the second set of feathers.
Okay. So the next set will be on this shape that we did here, and we're gonna make it make them either bigger. You know, they're gonna get bigger, bigger towards the bottom. Okay. So this next set, the shape is basically the same that we did here. Okay. The only difference is that we are gonna make them much bigger. And they also going to overlap, okay? And I'm gonna show you, gonna be kind of like that. So this is a way it's going to look like. Looks kind of uh, like uh, grapes, you know, but oval. Oh, right. So we're going to have now another set of feathers onto around here. I'm using this as a reference line only that we're going to erase later. Okay. Right here. And this, we're gonna make them at least double size than this ones. I'm gonna show you. And we're gonna make them a little point, pointier on both sides too. You know that the birds have like a different kind of feathers, okay? And we can make them like a, in different positions, okay? and also overlapping. So let me show you something that I do, okay? When I have this, let's say this two feathers, okay? The next one, I'm going to start drawing it in between that one. Okay? This is like a building a house. When, when, uh, when you build a house, you put a brick here, another brick here, and then you put another one in between. Okay? This is kind of the same.
and you can make some like pointing out also you see like you can see here here and here and here And once we are done with this set of feathers, we're going to go with the last ones. And those are going to be huge, even bigger, bigger. Bigger, also overlapping, okay? Make sure to put some pointing out, okay? Because that's the beauty of these birds. They spread the, the feathers like that. And <clears throat> gonna give you a few minutes so you can catch up with the feathers. You see that I added one here, pointing out another here, a couple, two, three, four here. Some of those give a really nice touch, okay? Like in different angles, okay? I'm gonna sharpen this pencil. And, oops, 
another pencil here. And now we're gonna do this little thing is here. And here. And here. And another one here. Okay. Another one around here. Let me erase the bricks. <clears throat> and this feather here. And this line here. That we don't need anymore. And the oval. And this line's here. I mean, we're gonna paint it over, but Gustavo, can you show me the bottom, please? I don't see the bottom. Oh. Wait, wait. You're welcome. Okay, so if you guys are pretty much done with this, the next thing is up to you if you want to do it or not, okay? But I think it looks really beautiful, okay? And is that inside of each feather, there is like another feather, okay? I'm just gonna do a few, okay? You see? And then inside is another one, it's smaller, okay? That gives the peacock, you know, a very colorful, we just have to do like a little ovals like this, okay? Pretty much to every feather, okay? The ones on the top only has one, okay, inside. And the ones on the chest doesn't have any. Okay. So I know it takes time, but it will look beautiful. Okay. It's 
especially after you you paint it. It's gonna be really, really, really cool. Gustavo, could yeah. you show, could you show that to me closer again, please? Sure. What are you doing right now? So you're making a circle in each one? It's like an like an oval. Let me show you the original. It's like an oval. Como va, Santiago? Bien? Más bien? Muy bien. Okay, I'm going to ask you one by one to show me what you get. Leah, let me see yours. Oh, wow. Very nice. Beautiful. Thank you, Leah. Lily. <clears throat> Wow. Beth and Spencer. Let me show me yours. Huh? Oh, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Let me get Spencer's. Beautiful. Spencer? Very nice. Santiago, a ver. Muy bien. Muy bien, Santi. A uh, Michelle. Michelle. Wow. Beautiful, Michelle. Let's sit down, I'll be fine. Diane. What, here, come here. Oh, I have a red, I have a red. You should have sat down for five minutes before you sell. Very nice. You're backwards, man. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very good, guys. Very good. <clears throat> So for you to have as a reference, because we are not going to finish painting it today, and this, I made this on purpose, so you have something to do during the weekend, uh, so you don't, don't get bored, okay? So what we're going to do is, we are going to paint one feather of each group so you know the color and then all that you have to do is repeat that group that uh those colors on the rest of the feathers of that group okay so the bottom ones are kind of i mean you can use any color you want okay but these are kind of uh green light green Almost, I mean, you can even add a little bit of uh, light blue on top, okay? And the inside, 
okay? It has yellow on one end. Okay. Red on the other end. Okay. And blue, like a dark blue on the inside. Okay. Like that. So all you have to do is paint all this group of feathers exactly like that one. Green outside, outside. and then yellow, red, and blue inside. Yellow, red, and blue. So the next one, let me sharpen this. <coughs> The next set, the feathers have like a darker blue on the top. Let me draw the, um, the inside. The inside, as you can see, they are all the same, okay? The oval is yellow and red and then another one blue inside but on this ones the top is dark blue and goes down to light blue right michelle And the inside, same as the other one. Yellow, red on the top, and blue inside, dark blue inside. Okay. So this set, they're all gonna be this color. You can, you know the difference because of the size, right? The next set, they are like purple, like this purple, okay? I mean, if you want to do any other colors, you can do too, whatever you like. This goes, this is like a, like a rainbow, you see, because it goes from green to blue to purple and back to blue. So it looks nice. Again. Yellow, red, and blue. If you want to outline the purple with a little blue, like I did over there, you can do that too. You see on this one? Mm 
The next set is dark blue. Again with a yellow and red and the blue inside. Hi, where were you? And the top ones are light blue with blue inside. And I'm pretty sure when you get to the purple ones, you're going to be very happy. So, oh my God, how many feathers? And the neck is going to be dark blue outside. And light blue inside. Right. The tree, we're going to make it brown, like a dark brown with a lot of lines as well as this. Um, and maybe we can put some bread inside. Thank you. 
Is the crown on top of his head blue? Uh, yes. Like a light blue. And also has one of those dinghies. And the peak is yellow. And we have to draw the eye here. Okay, guys, I want you to send me a picture of this finish. Yeah, sure. By tonight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> as soon, whenever you finish it, okay, send me a picture. Please. Um... So I can see the final. Santi, terminalo de pintar y cuando termine le sacas una foto y me la mandas. Okay, guys. Buen fin de semana. Buen fin de semana. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Everyone be safe. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. And, Wait, can uh, I see the picture again? Can I yeah. see the crown? What? The crown. Having a six o'clock drive by, okay? The crown? Yeah, the crown. In my house. Oh, so okay. Drive by and say happy birthday to the child. <sighs> no, she's not. She's coming in. You so all stop, okay? okay. Can I take a picture of that bird? Sure. Well, we're having a Zoom. I'm sorry. Jill's making a Zoom at 6.15. So you try to yes, I can hear you. Home and... Beth, mute okay. yourself, please. I haven't gotten the picture because I only see Beth. Good? Let's go. No. All right. Enjoy and have Thank fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>